Welcome back everybody, this is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more Project Zombo with you folks today. We just woke up here in the place we're going to be making our second kind of safe house. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep looking to see if we can find ourselves a saw. If we can find a saw, then we're going to be pretty well set to go. Because what we really need is to be able to use our axe to chop down trees and use our saw to chop into the lumber so that we can actually put some barricades up in this place. If we can get to that point, uh, we're going to be really well uh, really well off at this location, I would think. We just we really have like two locations we need to really shore up. Uh, the other windows are still solid, but uh, they're not going to last forever. We need to board them up too and let them uh, get a little bit more durability uh, to hold out a little bit longer in case we ever just get attacked at our new place. Let's take a quick peek around. I think we're doing okay. Let's finish off this guy real quick. Clean him off with the bat there. Or fi finish him off with the bat. What am I talking about? Clean him off with the bat? That doesn't make any sense to me. We've already checked in this place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep kind of moving north. And just kind of seeing what we can come across. I'm pretty sure this was the other one that we checked out. Uh, it's still locked up. Maybe not. Doesn't look like anybody really noticed us. Let's hop inside and take a quick peek around. This might not actually be one we checked out. So let's grab a few things here got that we don't need a can opener that's perfectly fine some more nine mil rounds I will take those I've actually just grabbed a few we'll take the canned soup and chips uh, coffee dog food and dry noodles coffee and dog food come on instant popcorn potato seeds we're snagging for sure and the tomato seeds anything else past here let's see we got another can opener we'll take those chips a mouse trap okay we'll take the TV dinner as well and the kettle, just to be, just to you know, kind of have at least a few things of everything over there. I know that we need a few uh, more materials for the new place. Let's take a peek. Looks like we got a few more. We can get a mug. Might as well take a mug, right? I just grabbed a frying pan. I don't need two frying pans. Get out of here, other frying pan. We need a, a mug. That's what I want. Okay. Pretty well good there. We're going to snag these real quick, see if we can fit the chips, chocolate, and cereal maybe into the bag, but it sure doesn't look like it. We're going to have to start putting into our main inventory. Oh, we got some ramen too. Snag that up. And another garbage bag. Beautiful. Oh, not that. Garbage bag? Nope. We're going to put it in the main inventory, it looks like. Toss that in there, and we are looking like we're pretty much at our limit for encumbrance. So let's take a quick peek here. There's advanced cooking and master cooking. Let's just take that one. And take a quick peek in here. What can we find that we can munch down on right now? Uh, not too much in there. That's perfectly fine. We do have some food. So we can definitely survive. We can, we can, I mean, we're not far from our base, but we can definitely... Uh, ooh, is that... Close those curtains. Okay. That's a little safer. Uh, we definitely have enough food to feed us for the time being, that is. And I think that zombie may have just seen us. Maybe not, surprisingly enough. Let's check upstairs real fast, but I don't want to make this too crazy. We do need to go ahead and keep an eye. We are, like, full encumbrance as is, so it's not like we're going to make much headway. We might be able to grab a thing or two because we can kind of boost ourselves up a little bit in our ability to hold a bit more weight by eating some of that food that we were having to hold on to. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a catch-22 on that, but it is what it is. Uh, we can make it kind of work if we need to, but just to check it out and make sure that everything's pretty well cleaned out. We're not in too much danger here. And I think we're doing pretty well. Everything looks pretty solid. There's only like one more uh, room in here. It's a bathroom upstairs. I don't think we're going to come across anything. We sure don't, so let's keep moving. We got some new, uh, well, not new. We got some, some supplies up there too. We can definitely kind of uh, take out some of these things here. Uh, if we need to restock our other place. But in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and head back and unlock all these doors. And kind of drop off what we've got for supplies thus far. So heading back down. I guess it's not down. Down's kind of toward this corner over here. This is kind of toward east. That's the east direction that we have. This is our base. So let's take a quick peek here. We've definitely got a few things that I've been putting away into the closet here. We've kind of got like our a little bit of like our inventory and like our like construction goods and stuff that we might need for shoring the place up, as well as weapons. I've kind of been putting the weapons and stuff in here. I kind of want to keep the axe on me for the time being, but I will toss the nine mils in here just to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, what can we get rid of as far as foodstuffs go? This is pretty much all just worthless at this point. But what do we got in the far corner here? It looks like this is kind of going to be where we have a lot of our little materials that we kind of consolidated into there. Empty mugs, uh, frying pans, things like that are going to go all in here. Can openers, uh, 
anything that we can kind of put away that would be considered maybe like a utensil is kind of what I've had, uh, just the idea of kind of tossing them all in here. A mousetrap, though, I don't really know what to do with a mousetrap. Maybe we'll hold on to that, grab it uh, again another time, and see what we can do. See if we can set it up and catch, like, a live mouse uh, to cook, rather than the dead ones you'll find. Which would be kind of nice. It'd be nice to not have to eat dead mice constantly. Oh, we got the nine mils in here, too, and a couple of things there. That's fine. In the meantime, let's go ahead and toss the sugar... Well, let's see, does any of these, yeah, let's go to this one right here. We can toss the sugar and stuff in here. Sugar, TV dinner, I think should survive just okay in there. Maybe I don't want to toss that TV dinner. We're going to hold on to that one for the time being. We are going to toss the rest of the food stuffs in here, though, that we have. Which is a decent amount of food. It should keep us good. We're not going to toss the cheese in there, because that's probably going to go bad sooner or later. Is it this one? It isn't that one, but that's okay. We'll start moving things as we need to. Just the big things out there, out of our inventory. And of course, okay, there we go. Yeah, we're good on that one. Bottle of mayonnaise. Plus 25, or plus 20 boredom and plus 15 unhappiness. Only 7 hunger is taken by that one. Why don't we go ahead and munch down on our beef jerky, keep ourselves a little well stocked up. And we're going to toss the goods that may actually need to be refrigerated in here. The cheese is probably going to be one of those things, and the bottle of mayonnaise is the other. Uh, the TV dinner, I think I'm just going to cook it. You know? Just get it going. Just make it have it ready. There we go. Turn that thing on. Let's take a look. This thing will heat up really quick and then start cooking quite quick. So we need to be quick on taking it back out of there as well. well looks like we got some more stuff here in our main inventory that we can kind of put away. We can toss the garbage bag back in here, though. That would make a lot more sense to kind of keep that together. Wood glue can go in there, that's kind of a building material. Cigarettes, why not? We'll toss them in there. Cooked. We'll take that out of there, thank you. And let's turn off that. We don't want to be burning down our new our new place of operations here, a little base. Don't want to do that. Take the bath towel, toss it in there. Pretty much everything that we can, we're going to consolidate into the backpack. Anything that doesn't really need to be in our main inventory at this point. The stuff that we're planning on taking back to the farm like that, uh, like those seeds packets, all that stuff can just kind of go uh, with the other stuff. So might as well, you know, just kind of consolidate it. Toss these up in here as well. TV dinner, uh, we're going to hold on to that possibly for a meal later in the day. For the time being, that looks pretty good. Uh, why don't we make a run to the next house? We got pretty well stored up and kind of reorganized a bit. Uh, why don't we actually check across the street? I don't think I've done much across the street here. There's a few corpses, but... Uh, I don't think I've really checked out these homes. Uh, that is unlocked, though, so maybe that's wrong. Let's take a quick peek here and just kind of rummage through a little bit, see if there is anything that kind of stands out that lets us know that we really haven't been through here. No, not so much. This looks pretty well uh, cleared out. There's not much here to begin with, though. Okay, let's check the front door. It doesn't seem like anything's out this way. How about this brick building? Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Don't really see much. We got some more antidepressants, which actually could come in handy, so why don't we grab those? Actually, I am going to grab the bath towels as well. It really does help to have good dry bath towels around when you get wet, and you don't have anything to dry yourself off with, so might as well, you know? Turn that on, because it's always nice to have lights on. I definitely think we have been through here, to be quite honest. I see some corpses in the kitchen. That's okay, though. I think, yeah, actually, this does look really familiar, but we didn't actually clear it out as far as food and stuff goes, it looks like. So snagging those. Let's take those. We'll take the radishes. We'll take it up. Well, nice. We'll take another TV dinner. I'm down with that. We'll take a tea bag. Now, the tea bag, you guys are thinking. I know that much. Jeez. Okay, another water bottle there. We don't need it. Let's check this one here. Nine mil rounds. We'll snag those up. Chips, dog food, ramen, noodles. We will take it all. Thank you. And another garbage bag. We're going to have so many garbage bags ready to go for this uh, once we get back to the house. To Twiggy's Bar. Peanut butter. Plastic bags are useless to me right now as far as I'm aware. All right. Looks good. I think this is only a first story building. Oh, no, no. There's the stairs right there. Let's check upstairs. What do we got? Anything at all that we need to be aware of? Bedroom. Oh, it's an office room. Cleaned out. 
cleaned out pretty much. Don't really have anything in there worthwhile anyway. Take a look in here real quick. We've got a couple of sheets. Nothing else really. This uh, letting us know that we need to hang out. Oh my god, screw you guys. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, one down. Everyone's getting back up at us. That's okay. Get out of here. Oh, man. Okay, take a quick look. Oh my god, how are we okay? We have dodged so many bullets this last little while. These last few episodes have just been ridiculous as far as close calls, my friends. This is insane. Sleeping tablet. Snag those, I guess. A couple of big hiking bags. Don't really need them. Is this another closet? Double check everything looks safe. Bath towels. I'm telling you, it's always nice to have these. I'm not going to grab the sheets. Don't really need them. Uh, we're doing okay. Let's check this right here. Another and a spiffo. We are taking spiffo. You can never have too many spiffos. That's just fact. Let's check the other bathroom here. We're looking pretty safe. Another bath towel. And a rubber duck. We're going to snag that rubber duck. We're holding on to that one today. Okay, this is pretty well uh, dug through. We're going to open that back door, and we're going to pop open this front door just to make sure that it's easy to get in and out in the future. Oh, yeah, we've totally been here. We came through here for a couple of... Well, I think we found our original hammer or saw or something along those lines when we were checking some of these garages out. We definitely murdered a few people here. Um, let's check... Oh, we got some zombies moving in the street up there. That's not what we want. We're going to go up through the back door here, I think. See if we can get inside. Uh, possibly that garage looks like it's busted into already. And this house isn't unlocked. So let's climb on through and take a quick peek around. Open that and close it again real quick. Looks like we've got our washing room there. Washing machine room. Laundry room. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, tuna. Let's snag that up. That seems to be a pretty darn good food source, actually, is tuna. Ooh, a spray can. I can always take a spray can. I'm down with that. And what do we got up here? Some more canned food. We're going to be set, guys. I'm telling you, we are just clearing this place out. I'm not going to grab the kettle. We've got more than enough. We'll take those canned beans, though. And that cabbage seed. We've cleaned that one out. How about this one? Ramen noodles. Cereal, dog food, more canned beans. We are seriously, we're looking good. We're going to have so many supplies, you guys. Put in the main inventory, I do suppose. We got another hammer there. Might as well snag that brand back. Dog food and cereal, well, that can go into the main inventory. And it looks like at this point we're pretty much going to be pretty good. Let's take a drink. We're going to fill our water bottle back up, and I think we're going to head back to our base of operations. Fill that water bottle. Quick peek in here. Ooh, beef jerky. Snagged. And what else can we take? Ice cream? We'll take the ice cream. Pie's probably, yep, yeah, it's bad. All right, and yep, we are getting tired, so this is probably a pretty good time. Do another real quick search. Don't really need anything that really, really standing out there. Nine mils, another baseball bat. That's perfectly fine. We can leave it behind. Don't need it right now. And I'm just going to go. I know we missed a few rooms there, but uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Oh, boy. I probably shouldn't have gone out that front door. Let's close that. We're just going to nicely sneak out that back door again. And probably have to engage a couple of uh, zombies here. That's fine. Oh, that was a nice easy one. What's up, lady? Come here. We're going to break your skull open. Hope you don't mind. All right. Coming through. Hopefully not pulling it too much attention here. Crossing back across the street. And it looks like we got this one in the front yard. Not a big deal. Knock her down. Bust that skull open. And we're going to keep moving. I think we got one more house. It's like right here. Is that right? I'm pretty sure this is it. Looks right. Yep. This is the one. We've definitely picked up some more supplies. We're going to go ahead and call it here, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management around here. Uh, not put you guys through that before we take Matthew Smith here to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please do click that like button. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Cheers.